Jake Taylor is a communications media student who has a passion for creating and writing sports content here at IUP. Jake frequently writes for the IUP newspaper, The Pen, and saw an opportunity recently with the advantage of understanding where people want their content from. Jake and The Pen together led to the move of going online since January 2018. The Pen has operated 100% online, and here's what Editor-in-Chief Seth Wolcock had to say about the move and the results. Yeah, so The Pen uh, going in an all-digital platform in 2018 was definitely a big step. Uh, it was a decision done based on financial needs and also uh, for impact as well. I feel like nowadays kids aren't really, you know, picking up a newspaper and a news rack, but, you know, they're on their phones, they're on their tablets, they're on their laptops. So that's where we're going to try to reach them. It's definitely benefited us in so many ways. I mean, now I feel like, you know, people really know who the pen is and we're trying not to just be, you know, your grandfather's newspaper. You know, we're trying to be a media corporation in the 21st century here at IUP. Currently, the Penn employs about 20 students who are a combination of journalism and communications that help publish two issues every week on Tuesday and Thursday. Elliot Hicks is one of the editors who had this to say. So to go off that opportunity, um, how has the transition been going from the print newspaper to moving everything online like to digital form? I think the transition's generally been positive. Our editor-in-chief, mm -hmm. Seth Wilcock, has said the analytics look good, that Sweet. we've got more views on our website. And it's pretty easy for the section editors as well because it's generally the same process to put together the issue as it right. was when we were in print. It just doesn't go to a printing press. It goes to, um, it goes just to a digital yeah. issue. Yeah. Sweet. Kyle Scott, another student, saw the opportunity in not only the move, but to expand the content itself in the form of podcasting. So Kyle, what kind of content do you have uh, for the pen, like in regard to podcasting? Uh, well, we have four podcasts. Um, we have the Pencast with Seth and Kyle. That has me and editor in chief Seth Wolcott. We talk about the news, culture, and sports. Mm -hmm. We have a Spotify playlist, playlist, and an interview with someone in Indiana. Cool. Um, then we have Chicks Chat Nat, which is just four uh, girls that go to IUP yeah. talking about their week. It's fun, it's light, a lot of right. people like it. Um, we have Culture Cast, which I'm sure you know. I'm a part of, that's right. Yeah. Bunch of guys being dudes. <laughs> that's right. So what about um, so what about with traffic for the website? Do you think it helps with traffic and bringing in more people, like a larger audience? Uh, well, the podcast, we're definitely a part of that. Uh, mm -hmm. Not solely just from the podcast, uh, making the newspaper better from mm -hmm. the beginning of the year. Like, right. The amount we've grown from the paper just being better. We got a newsletter now. We've been advertising, getting our name out. Mm -hmm. And the podcasts have all really helped expand the brand of the pen. Sweet. Reporting for IEP TV News, this is Michael Costa.